TV. I'm here with Claire Plastid. How are you doing? I'm very well, thank you. Yes. Brilliant. So tell us about your show. Well, it's a one-woman character comedy show. I do seven characters. Mm. They're all very different, a um, bit anarchic, a bit clowny. Um, I even do a live human cannonball routine. Oh, wow. Yeah, which is interesting. <laughs> is there an actual cannon? <laughs> there is. Oh, my sorts. God. <laughs> yeah. It's brilliant. And I get the audience involved. There's a lot oh. of audience participation. Amazing. And they help me uh, fly out of this cannon and... Uh, it has to be seen to be believed. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, I'm quite excited about that. Yeah, so, worth it just for that. <laughs> so, how would you describe the style of comedy you use in your show? It, it's a mix. I'm very visual. I'm a, I, you know, a lot of observational character stuff, and then uh, a bit clowny as well. Cool. And I do a lot of like I said, audience participation. So there's a lot of improvised bits and pieces along the way when yeah. things inevitably go wrong, as they do in my shows. <laughs> um, <laughs> and I think what's nice about this show this year is that. I've added a section in between each character called comments my husband made during the making of this show. <laughs> <laughs> so, because this actually happened, I would yeah. I would be writing because I'm a mum now, so I, I'd write in the evenings and at weekends, and I'd, you know, I'd walk into the living room and I'd say, oh, and I'd read him what I'd written, and he'd be like, don't make me laugh, Claire, you know. Oh. <laughs> This is honest. He's very honest, <laughs> and it forces you. It forces you, and uh, you know, and you go, oh, okay, right. So, but these comments, he's just so brutal with me. I thought I've got to put this in the show so you can yeah. hear his comments live throughout the characters. <laughs> That's so funny. <laughs> so, how many times have you been at the Fringe now? This is going to be my eighth year. Wow. Yeah. So you're like proper pro now. <laughs> yeah, I feel. I do feel like a, it's nice. Actually, it's a nice mm. feeling. I was up here as a double act for many years. For oh, about of course. Six, six yeah. years. Yeah, which was great. And it's always nice to have someone you know, there to support each other. Mm -hmm. And so being on my own, I'm a bit like, this is hard. But yeah. it's actually, it's rewarding as well. It's yeah, of course. Audiences are fab and I love being up here. So how do you feel like you sort of changed, especially coming out of a sort of double act and going into solo act and even from, you know, eight years ago to now? Oh gosh, that's a great question. I I feel like what's really helped me with the experience is just having that relationship with the audience. because. You know, it is absolutely different every night yeah. and you have to be able to react to what's going on in the room and and I think that's what's different from maybe when I first started. You know, we we wanted to do that but we perhaps weren't brave enough or, um, you know, and our confidence grew and, and the more you do the fringe you realise actually it's, it's a beast in itself and what you start out at the beginning of the run is, you know, the show will change and shift yeah. to the end and, and that's, and you've got to enjoy that process otherwise you'll you drink too much. Yeah. <laughs> well, that's a little bit of what The Fringe is yeah. about, isn't it? <laughs> so where and when is your show on? It's on every day at 10 to 6 in the evening at Chow Roma, which is uh, on Southbridge, 64 Southbridge, and it's the Italian restaurant. And if you come and see the show, they will give you 10% off your meal. Oh, hey. At the restaurant. So if that's not a reason to see it, I don't know what is. <laughs> Brilliant. Well, thank you so much for coming and speaking to us. Thank you. You've been watching Waffle TV, sponsored by Boomers. <laughs>